If you go to your basement and you begin to see hairline cracks in your basement wall, um, you'll want to definitely monitor those cracks during uh, drought conditions. And during late summers, early falls, that's the time where basements are most vulnerable to drought conditions. And in drought conditions, you need to monitor the soil next to your foundation wall. If you start to see gaps or cracks in your soil, that's telling you that that soil is beginning to contract. And soil acts kind of like a sponge when it comes to water. When it has water retained in it, the soil will actually expand. It's the clays in the soil that do that. But in the absence of water, say in a drought, the, the soils begin to contract. And when they begin to contract, they draw away from the wall and they show cracks in the ground and cracks next to your foundation wall. And, and those gaps then allow the full weight of the structure above grade, the rest of your house, to basically be weighing down on your foundation wall, and that's when you can really see damage. And the damage will then begin to show in the signs of settlement. You'll see cracks in your foundation wall, but you'll also see many times cracks in the drywall in the above grade structures, the first and the second floors. Check the uh, door jams, the corners of door jams, see if you have cracks there. Check in the corners of windows, see if you have cracks there. If you start to see those types of cracks, if windows begin to stick, if doors aren't quite shutting the way they used to shut nice and smooth and cleanly, then potentially you could be exposed to foundation damage. And that happens many times it can happen anytime, but it's most vulnerable during drought conditions. In drought conditions, when that soil pulls away from the foundation wall, then ultimately you're being exposed for potential damage. The way to resolve that is to simply water your foundation. Add water because again, back to our example of talking about the sponge with water, adding water to the clays in the soil will allow it to expand. And when it expands, those gaps close next to the foundation wall, the cracks begin to close, and it adds additional support to your foundation, which supports your second and first floors above grade. So watering those is an important step. It, you don't need to do it very long. You can do it for five to 10 minutes a day, once or twice a day, and, and you basically stop when the gaps have closed.